Welcome to News Now from the Belmont Journal. I'm your host, Mike Crowley, and we are joined by Lisa Gibilario of the Wayside Youth and Family Support Network, and she's coordinator of the Belmont Wellness Coalition. This week, we're talking about marijuana use among teens. Welcome, Lisa. So, Lisa, let me first ask you, what do we know about teens and marijuana use in Belmont? Right, Mike. So what we do know comes from the Youth Risk Behavior Survey, and this is administered to Belmont students in grades 7 through 12 about every two years. And it, it fairly consistently reveals that about 25% of our high schoolers are using weed. Um, and we know that the number does tend to trend upward. It's lower than that in 8th, ninth, and 10th grades, and then it goes up to about 25% as the kids get older. Do we have any sense, Lisa, of why some teens are using marijuana? What we know is that many of them view it as a way to reduce their stress, to relieve some of the stress that they feel with school. Um, and of course, it's a way to blow off steam and have fun. We also expect that the legalization of marijuana, which has happened in many states across our country, has sent a message to young people that it's fairly harmless um, and it, it tends to be easy for them to access. So let's talk about risks. What are some of the things that we should be aware of about marijuana? And are there any special risks for young people? Absolutely. So first of all, the psychoactive chemical in marijuana is THC. And THC is present in much higher doses than it used to be when you or I were kids. So that's a concern. Um, we know that it impacts their ability to make good decisions. We know that it impacts their driving. Um, and people who use regularly, especially young people because of the way their brains are developing, are more likely to become dependent on it. They, they could develop um, not so much a, a straight up addiction, but certainly a dependency. And getting back to the brains, Mike, one of the number one concerns is that young people, their brains are going to be developing until mid to late 20s. So regular marijuana use um, does have an impact on that developing brain. And I think that is um, a main concern. So what is your guidance then for parents, Lisa? Uh, first and foremost, I would say to be happy with your kids about all substances. Um, not one-off conversations, ongoing conversations, and share your concerns. Don't make it just a don't do this, but share your concerns. Talk about, you know, some of the risks. Talk about the impairment to their good judgment. Talk about their developing brains and listen. Listen to what they have to say. Ask them why they feel compelled to use marijuana. Um, try to understand where they're coming from and then offer your insights and your um, guidance to them about why this is concerning to you. Anything else, Lisa? Yeah, I would say in addition to having conversations, Mike, um, it's important also to be clear with our kids about our own expectations for them. If this is not something you are comfortable with as a parent, make that very clear to your child that this will not be tolerated. Um, at curfew time, it's really important to wait up for your kids. This is a good tool to get a sense of what's happened that evening, of what's gone on. You know, be there for the hug, be there for the check-in uh, when they come home. And finally, we've said this before, but it bears repeating, be in communication with the parents of your kids' friends. Get a sense of what they are concerned about, about, you know, get a sense of how much supervising they're doing when the kids are at their house. Be able to send them a text and say, you know, everyone's gathering at your house. Will you be home? Will you be supervising? So those are kind of the main uh, toolbox items that I do say to parents, you know, keep the conversations going, share your concerns, share your expectations, and be able to reach out to the parents. All right. Helpful advice as always, Lisa, and we look forward to talking with you again. Thank you.